Ellen Sugar, Hershey Love here for Visual Anthrax, and I have Mr. T. Roy here with us. Tell us what was the part that you played in the movie, I'm going to kill someone this Friday. Is that a Zoom? See, I'm always working. Even when I'm working, not working, I'm working. But, uh, you know, what part did I play? Um, I don't know, man. I'm omnipresent. You can say I'm a little bit of everywhere. I'm not God, but I work goddamn hard, and that's really what it's about. You know, we're out here. It's a team effort. You know, it's a lot of letters in the alphabet, but I, I love the letter I. That's all I can say. Yo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, y'all. It's your girl Hershey Love here with the Visual Anthrax, and I have Mr. Tarantino Jones here with me. So tell me, what were your roles and I'm going to kill someone this Friday? Well, you know what I'm saying? This is my man, Dirt and Grot for Frim. You know what I'm saying? I know him by David because that's my white brother. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So check this out. I was actually blessed enough to be a part of the soundtrack, be a part of the uh, film crew, as well as be behind the scenes as well. You know what I mean? So it was fun. I was acting in it. It was a, a whole lot of fun, so I'm excited. Now, have you ever taken part in a horror film before? Never. Well, actually, we have done a couple of horror films before. <laughs> Um, you know, low budget, you know what I'm saying? But we did our thing, you know what I'm saying? So this is our second time around. So what was your favorite part about doing this movie? Uh, my favorite part about this was pretty much uh, being the boom mic operator because I was able to be behind the scenes and capture some of the writing that they were able to do. So it was a real fun. All right, thank you so much for coming to do this interview and I hope you enjoy the movie. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's your girl Hershey Love here for Visual Anthrax, and I have with me the main character of I'm Gonna Kill Someone This Friday. So you play Mr. Robert Partridge. That's right. Do you want me to go get my wife? If you like, you want yeah, me to I will. Actually. Okay. I first, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what was your favorite part about playing Mr. Partridge? Um, uh, let's see. Well, it was a very challenging role. Number one, that, that's that's what I really enjoy. Um, it was. It was the first time anyone asked me to carry a feature film by myself. Uh, well, not by myself, but as the lead. Um, so that 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 really meant a lot to me. It really kind of choked me up. But I'm it was also. Hey, I'm crashing it. We're here. That's we right. made it. Let's we're get you look good, brother. Hey. hey, this is more than a trailer. Uh, right, I'm gonna let him. Hey, consummate. Consummate. Wait, does he mean consummate? No, I'm not gonna do that, man. <laughs> Weirdo. God. But no, I, I just couldn't believe that someone asked me to, uh, to carry their film as a lead actor, and I put a lot of work into the script. And, I was just uh, about to ask, how much did like, what did you do to prepare for this role? Like, have you played in a horror film? Um, well, yeah, oh yeah, I've played in, in a bunch of d different films, but I just, I'm a reader, so uh, I've, I've heard a lot of different techniques of studying scripts. I just read the script, and I read it, and I read it, and I read it, and it, and it came down to four days before the the first day of shooting. And I was really nervous because I felt like I didn't know the script. So I had a friend, I just handed, a friend was at my house, I handed him the script, I said, open the page, any page, and start reading. And he did, and he read two words, and I finished the page for him. And I, that's when I knew I was ready. And everything kind of just <laughs> let go, and yeah. Thank you so much for doing this interview with me, and I hope you enjoy the movie. Well, it's my pleasure. I hope you enjoy the movie. I will. <laughs> I've already enjoyed the movie. I did it. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey y'all, it's your girl Hershey Love here for Visual Anthrax and I have with me Miss Lisa McConnell. And what is your part in the movie I'm Gonna Kill Someone This Friday? I play Rag. Who? Rag, her name is Rag. Rag, okay, okay. Rag, what? R A G. R A G. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> what was your favorite part about playing Rag? Well, it was very interesting. We had we had, we had a big party one night uh, at this house. It was a house party. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of like, I, I got to play like really messed up, like, um, uh, it was it was a very um, very dramatic scene. So how long have you been acting? About three years. So. Do you like it? I do. I, do. <laughs> I just drove three and a half hours to get here, so I must know oh, these people, right? Where are you from? I live in Mount Dora, so oh, okay. I'm with the traffic. So <laughs> I drove two hours. It's okay. I'm, I'm almost with you there. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming to do this interview, and I hope you enjoy the movie. No problem. <laughs> hey, y'all! It's your girl Hershey Love here for Visual Anthrax, and I have with me Mr. John Charles Harnett. And what were you a part of in I'm Gonna Kill Someone This Friday? Frederick Day. And so, did you enjoy playing that character? <laughs> uh, it was a challenge. Uh, it was a moral and ethic challenge for me because Frederick Day is not a good guy. So you're not used to playing guys like that? <laughs> he, is, he is polar opposite than me. <laughs> now, did, have you ever played in a horror film before? No, it's the first one. So how long have you been acting? For one year. Holy. I was in a Vietnam War film prior to this called Point Man. Uh, Phil Blattenberger's Point Man, and then I found out about this, and I had to be a part of it. So what made you get into acting? Since this is your first year, what made you get into it? Yeah, I, I was in theater in high school many years ago, many, many years ago, 
and at 46 years old, got the casting call on Facebook for Point Man. And I answered it, and lo and behold, it was something that I just fell in love with. Just got, got the bug, like everybody says. <laughs> okay, so what was your favorite part in playing in this film, I'm Gonna Kill Someone This Friday? My favorite part was the makeup that Jay Woodley did. His special effects are amazing. He told me, he looked at my eyes at, on one set, and he said, you wear contacts. I said, yeah, he goes, you're gonna have to take those out. So I took them out, and all of a sudden, there's blood red powder all in my eyes. Mm -hmm. And then he sprayed water all over it, just looked like blood was all over my face. Was that really uncomfortable? No, it wasn't too uncomfortable. I, I was ready and willing, mm -hmm. but it was a lot of fun. Well, I do thank you for coming to do this interview with me, and I really hope you enjoy the movie. I appreciate it. Take thank care. You. Hey, y'all, it's your girl Hershey here with Visual Anthrax, and I have Mr. William Bishop. And I heard you helped shoot the movie, or you did shoot the movie. Yes, I was the director of photography on the movie. Okay, so what was your vision for when you shot this movie? What exactly, what type of look did you want it to have? Well, the look we were going for was just kind of like an uneasy kind of... Uh, we pulled a lot of references from things like um, American Psycho and American Beauty and films where it's like you're dealing with like a character who's going through a psychological transformation and just like as the story progresses, it just gets a lot more crazy and unnerving. Now, was there a particular scene that was hard to shoot or anything about the movie that was difficult to shoot? Um, I mean, it was all kind of, it was all a little difficult, but every every scene has its challenges, but it, was, it all ended up just being really fun and I, I enjoyed the challenges. And um, if I had to say one, there was one shot in the movie where the whole the whole scene is is one shot, and the camera gets kind of heavy after a while. <laughs> is there anything that you would say is your favorite part about being in the cast and crew of I'm Gonna Kill Someone This Friday? My favorite part of being in the cast and crew of this movie was getting to work with Jordan Godfrey, the director. He was he's such a great guy. He's really visionary and. He, he gave me a lot of creative freedom when it came to the cinematography. So the collaboration between both of us and the ability to like be able to kind of run with some ideas or have the ability to suggest certain things and let he let me try it. It was like that freedom was really really important to me. Okay, well thank you so much for coming to do this interview with me, and I hope you enjoy the movie. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the movie too. Thank you. What's going on, y'all? Sugar Hershey Love for Visual Anthrax, and I have with me Miss. Jayla Royal. So you acted in the movie. What was your role? It was playing Brie. Um, basically, she's a teenager who was going through mental problems. So what was your favorite part? Well, what was the hardest part about getting into character? Um, basically, learning how to be mean because I'm not really that mean. I'm not a mean person at all. So like, it took me a lot of time like to get into character, learning how to be psychopathic. So um, how many years have you been acting? I've been acting for about um, 12 years. Have you ever acted in a horror film before? No, this is my first time. It was fun. <laughs> so what was your favorite part about being in I'm Gonna Kill Someone this Friday? Um, basically behind the scenes, um, getting to know new people, and also like getting to have like a TV mom. It was fun. Well, thank you so much for coming and do this interview, and I really hope you enjoy the movie. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Hey y'all, it's your girl Hershey Love here for Visual Anthrax and I have with me Mr. Dominic Graham. So you're coming to see the movie, what do you hope to see in this movie? Uh, action, hopefully somebody gets murdered, you know, <laughs> I, I, that's the whole point. I guess somebody's getting killed this Friday. I'm just, you know, excited to see these guys doing their thing and getting everything situated and putting it on the film and Jacksonville supporting everything. I just uh, wish you guys 100% keep it going. All right, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoy this movie. I will. <laughs> hey, y'all, it's your girl Hershey Love here for Visual Anthrax, and I have with me Mr. Mike Madden. Okay, Mr. Mike, so what was your role in I'm Gonna Kill Someone this Friday? I'm just here supporting. A lot of my friends are here in the production. Uh, they were either actors uh, or they were working behind the camera. I've also got a few friends that were working on some of the promotion. Uh, I'm just here showing the love. Okay, so what do you want to see in the movie? What do you hope to see? Oh, I want to, I want to see some, some uh, serious tension. I want to see some serious character development. Mostly, I just want to see a lot of, of uh, you know, uh, murder, because it's all about death and, uh, and uh, you know, that kind of craziness. And a uh, little, little sex would be nice, but I'm just teasing. I'm teasing. <laughs> so. 
Well, thank you so much for coming to this interview, and I really hope you enjoy the movie. I'm, I'm sure I will. It looks like it's uh, looks like it's on fire. So. All right. Thank you. Thank you.